Gwenny Gang, it's Gwen at Pumpkin Works back from the garage. Uh, so today I wanted to walk you through a quick tutorial about um, this cup I'm going to make. So my idea was to make a double-sided cup for a friend for graduation. So one side's going to be blue, the other side's going to be white, and I'm going to use the high school colors of blue and gold. Um, with going to use some gold vinyl, but blue on one side and uh, white and red on the other side, which is their college that they're going to. So the first thing I wanted to do is I spray painted, I sanded this cup and I spray painted it. And this is just a 20 ounce skinny hog tumbler. Sanded it down real good to get all of the uh, coating off of the tumbler and then just spray painted it with some white spray paint. This is the spray paint that I use. I use this Rust-Oleum. Uh, American Accents two-time ultra coverage paint and primer. This is a ultra matte white um, Really no preference to anything this one. It just was the first thing that I grabbed and it's worked okay for me so The first thing I want to do is I want to measure out where I want my lines to be so I drew If you could see I, I drew a little line right here and I want it to kind of be centered so if I go straight across, that leads me to about right here. And then with my ruler, I'm going to use the flat edge of my ruler along the flat edge of the cup just to line up where the line would be on the bottom, which leaves that right about there. And I'll do that on the other side as well. So bottom of the cup, bottom of the cup and that's where it lines up. Now I'm gonna use um, black painter's tape and I'm just gonna edge it. This is gonna be a little bit of a process because the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to use the epoxy method to glitter the blue side and then we're gonna spray it with uh, some spray paint to make sure that that blue color doesn't move anywhere. And then we're gonna use the epoxy method with white glitter on the other side. So this is the side that, that I'm gonna do the blue on. I'm gonna press down real, real good and make sure it's sealed. And then we'll come across the bottom to where we made our other line. And the bottom you just have to make sure that you're caring for the ridges and really pressing that tape in there. So as you know, I'm in the garage. The kids are playing in the driveway, which is one of their favorite pastimes. And I love it quite frankly because it's it's so much better than them sitting in front of the television with the video games. So you can see how nice and straight that line makes it with the painter's tape. Just grab my scissors and snip it. And now we've got a nice straight line. And again, we're going to do blue on this side here. So now I'm going to mix up my epoxy. I like to take just these generic bathroom cups and this will not take a lot of epoxy at all. It'll probably take less than two milliliters to do just the one side. And the epoxy that I'm using today is Amazing Clear Cast, which comes in part A and part B. You use a 50-50 mix. And I saw this tip from another crafter. They use these uh, medicine syringes. I made a hole in the top of the bottle and you just stick it in and you suck out the epoxy for as much as you want and you literally get a perfect measurement every single time. So I'm going to suck out, I think, about five milliliters for each side because with the extra epoxy I'm going to um, actually I think I'm going to suck out about 20 mls 
because I'm gonna make a keychain to match this tumbler. So I'm gonna use 10 milliliters of side A. I just squeeze it in. And then I'm gonna do 10 mLs of side B. Just gotta watch to make sure there's no huge, huge air bubbles. Um, when you're sucking the epoxy out. So 10 mLs of part A, 10 mLs of part B. And then I give it a mix. I absolutely hate washing um, all of the different cups and things. So these little plastic, I mean these little um, paper cups, these bathroom Dixie cups, they're just perfect for this application and I think I found these at Walmart for like less than two dollars. The other little tip I'd give you is a silicone mixing stick. When I first started I was using the typical wooden popsicle sticks and I found that the epoxy didn't mix as smooth and it got more air bubbles but these uh, silicone mixing sticks have been really a dream come true and it helps to eliminate some of the bubbles. Plus they're reusable, so I'm not out buying and wasting popsicle sticks. So they're a little bit more eco-friendly even though using these cups isn't as friendly as I guess it could be. So you're gonna wanna mix this epoxy for a good minute or two, probably closer to two to three minutes to make sure that you have a good even mixture. I like to scrape the sides of my stick and the edges so that if there's any kind of rogue epoxy then it is scraped off and then mixed up really well. You're also going to want to scrape really well the sides of your cups and the bottom of the cup to make sure that you've got a nice even coverage. All right, so now that we have that mixed, I like to let the epoxy sit for a few minutes. Um, this way, if there's any bubbles in it, the bubbles will rise and, and pop. So now I'm gonna go and grab my turner and um, I've applied epoxy, so I just took my gloved hand and smeared epoxy all over. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is a really nice tip. I love using these uh, silicone um, spatulas because what's gonna be important is that you take your epoxy um, and your spatula and you scrape as much off as possible. So to cover this tumbler, you're really only gonna need about maybe one or two mLs of epoxy because then what you're gonna do is scrape it. So the epoxy, you really just want it to um, act as your glue. So. Once you're done with this, then you know, you're certainly gonna have a lot of layers, but this method is gonna be important because if you leave too much epoxy, then you're gonna get a pooling effect with your glitter. So just work the epoxy. Again, I just put a thin layer with my, with my um, gloved hand, and then I took this little spatula and just worked all of the, the excess off of the cup, scraping and um, getting all of it off. So once we do that, you're gonna to wanna to let your cup set for just a minute or two. And um, then we're gonna take this tape off. Got a couple rogue glitters there. But we're not gonna let that rogue glitter bother us because as you can see in my workspace, it's, it's polluted. No matter how much you try, you can never get rid of all the glitter, like ever. I think there's glitter in every crevice in my house. So, but again, the important part is to make sure that there isn't any epoxy pooling on your tumbler. So the extra, the extra we're gonna save. And um, as we're doing that, I'm gonna get uh, my paper ready for our 
uh, ombre. All right, so um, at the top of the cup, I want my light color, and at the bottom, I want the darker color. So what I like to do is start with the lighter color and then work my way down since it's at the top. So I'm just going to take another one of my little cups, and I have these little spoons that I found at the dollar store, and I'm just going to dump a little glitter in there. So... I use a tapping method uh, to just start tapping the glitter on the top of the cup, allowing it to fall, the excess to fall onto the paper. So I'll get a nice even coverage. What do you know? The kids are going to ride their bikes. Nice even coverage um, on the on the the glitter there. All right, so I'm going to reuse some of this. I'm going to take the yellow down to about there. And then I'm going to show you a super easy way to make the most perfect ombre. So you see we've got a nice coverage on the yellow. make sure that there isn't any other spots that look like they need a little extra love. Tap it off. And we should be good to go. All right, so I'm gonna switch to a new piece of paper. And we'll grab some of this blue. Look how pretty that blue is. So this blue is kind of a chunky glitter, and we're going to start with the bottom. And we're going to hold this kind of at an angle. So one thing as we're doing this that you'll come to, to learn about Pumpkin Works is that I have the loudest children ever. Like, ever in the history of mankind. So you can see how cool that ombre is starting to come out. All right. All right, so here's our little trick. So we're gonna go back to our yellow. And we're gonna take our special tool, which is this microfine strainer that I found at the Dollar Tree. And we're just gonna dump our glitter in there. And then we're gonna go across where our line is and just start blending it a little bit. So it's not going to be a, a perfect ombre because, you know, the colors are, are pretty different, but you could see the effect that it, that it gives when you blend those colors just a little bit. So now what we're going to do, now that we have um, this, the colors on, is we are going to take the tape off and then we'll let it dry. I don't know about you, but I get super excited about a nice crisp 
paint line. Good golly, Miss Molly, look how crisp it is. So we'll clean this up along the side. That's not to be worried about, but for now, we're gonna let her dry. So you see that our cup has dried. I went ahead and sprayed it with uh, the Krylon Triple Thick Crystal Clear Glaze. And I gotta be honest, I'm kind of questioning this one. Um, I don't know about this ombre here. It's not really an ombre. So what I think I'm gonna do is put a second coat of epoxy on, um, try and um, kind of spread this blue out a little bit um, to make the line a little less harsh and um, give it another coat of yellow and let it dry, see how that turns out. The other thing, like if you see, because this is a chunkier glitter, I didn't, um, the base coat is white, obviously, and you can see through the glitter a little bit. You can see some of the white through the blue glitter, which I'm not exactly happy with. So, we'll see how this one ends up turning out in the end. You're going to be with me through the whole process, the good, the bad, and the eh, potentially ugly. Eh, we'll see what happens. All right, so um, let's just switch hands here. So I'm just gonna give it another really, really fine layer of epoxy. Just enough to make it stick. There's the blue, and I should have put it on a, a stick. I'm gonna change my glove, um, and now do the yellow. If I don't change my glove, then the blue glitter that was on my glove is gonna smear a lot more than I want it to. See just the smallest, smallest amount of glitter. I mean, of epoxy for this yellow glitter. You'll also notice that I did retape the sides. Um, so with the the last video, we put the epoxy on and then uh, we took the tape off so that it would dry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ugh, this glitter is so pretty. So you see our yellow glitter, and we're just gonna take. Um, I'm gonna give this this epoxy out of the way. I've got another tumbler that I need to use that for. Um, so. So we're just gonna take it from the top and depending on the angle you want is how far and how much control you'll have over this glitter. So because I'm working real close with the edge, I want it to fall pretty flat and just have a lot of control over it. And then I'm just gonna shake it down a little. So I'm going to take this 
dirty glitter that has some of the yellow and blue. And I'm gonna make sure that I use that up because we're right at the line right now that has the blue that we wanna start to, to catch on. So you can see how my dirty glitter has both colors in it. And we're okay with that. That's gonna be part of softening that line. All right, so here's some of the, the dirty blue that I had from last time. So I'm just gonna spin my cup around and work from the other way. Start with the bottom, give that a nice coat. Oh yeah, it's so much better already. And then we will take that blue and just start shaking it down the cup. All right, so we're at the line right now. We wanna soften that up a little, so I'm just gonna tip this cup up and just let it, let it fall a little onto the yellow. If you can tell, I'm angling my cup a, a little harder to get that angle. All right, let's give that a tap. Much better. So now I'm just gonna pat ever so gently the blue down because since this is a little bit more of a bigger cut you want to make sure that every one of those little glitters kind of lays down because if not then you're going to get more glitters um, you'll, you'll get your glitter that's standing up instead of laying down and it'll take a little bit more epoxy and a little bit more sanding than I like to do. So give it a little tap. If you see any spots that you missed, you can pick up some of that glitter and just hit it. Right there, I wanna make that a little bit more blue, so just hit it with a little tiny bit of epoxy on my finger, and there you go. So I'm kinda of satisfied with that. I think it's gonna be pretty nice. One more little spot here. Perfect. All right, we're gonna let that set for a minute and then I'm gonna wash my hands and come back and show you how to take the tape off and clean up that line before that dries. All right, so we're all ready to 
take the tape off and I'll show you how we clean this up a little bit. So we're gonna gently just peel. And you guys, if it's not perfect, it is totally okay because remember we are gonna put that other glitter on this side, the, the white glitter, but we're gonna clean it up as much as possible so that it comes out nice. So what I like to do to clean this up is just take a paper towel and a little bit of regular old rubbing alcohol and just give it a little wipe. And it should just come right off for you. Just clean it up anywhere that you see any of that rogue glitter. Don't forget the bottom of your cup because guaranteed there's some hanging out there. All party and clean. All right, so we're gonna let that dry for um, probably at least four hours and we'll be back. Hey gang, we're back and we're here with an almost finished cup. And I gotta tell ya, um, I was so skeptical about this cup and I was really at the point where I was just gonna scrap the video, but I figured, Nope, let me just finish the video and show you what the final product looked like because I'm actually really happy with the way that it turned out. So um, the vision for this cup was on one side to have the high school graduation colors and the logo from the high school. And then on the other side to have the college colors and the college logo. So the last time we did this, I was trying to ombre the blue and the yellow, which I'm, it, it came out just, um, like I was thinking it was just okay. And that's whenever I decided that I wasn't going to finish the video. But then once I started playing with it a little bit more, I actually put a second layer of glitter on a second layer of blue and a second layer of yellow. And I spread out some of the, the blue flakes. So I'm much more happy with the way that it turned out with the second coat of glitter than um, before because if you recall with the first coat of glitter since this was a white base you could see through it because the glitter was a little bit chunky you could even see through it just a tiny bit here but not so much like it was before um, and then we had the sides taped off this white came out really pretty uh, i like the way that it matched up uh, the iridescent flakes in it with the yellow and the blue and once we did that and I put a, there's two layers of epoxy over top of the glitter. I decided to proceed with it, see how it comes out. So I created the custom logo from the high school. And with this logo, I used a clear sticker paper and I put a backing, a white vinyl backing on it because when I printed the clear sticker paper, these colors were not vibrant at all and you really couldn't see them very well but they came out really nice and bright once I added the white vinyl behind it. And then I used the Cricut to put this decal on. I also used the Cricut to personalize the name and to put a pretty edge to tie the colors together so there just wasn't a solid line. And I did that on this side as well. And then finally, I took the college that she's going to and I did this logo on the Cricut, class of 2024. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the way this cup turned out. I need to sand it down just a little bit, like there's a couple spots where the glitter is sticking up and around the edge. I apologize for my kids fighting in the background. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of light sanding, put another final coat, of epoxy on this and then this will be ready to go to our graduate so I hope this cup inspires you again I was ready to scrap it and 
and just strip the thing and start over but I'm glad in the end that I decided to just continue with it because I'm really pleased with the way that it turned out so uh, hopefully you learn from from my mistakes and you make some beautiful cups until next time we'll talk soon bye